Hi, this is Tomlin from TomlinHarmonicaLessons.com and today's lesson is going to be an introduction to tongue blocking specifically for lip purses. Uh, so for this lesson I'm playing on a C harmonica, I'm playing uh, in the key of G in second position. Uh, I'm actually playing my Suzuki Manji with a Blue Moon harmonica's comb uh, which has been customized by Joe Spires. Really, really nice. Uh, lovely harmonica, lots of fun to play. Uh, so, what is tongue blocking? Well, if you are a lip purser, um, you isolate a single hole on the harmonica by making a kind of whistling shape with your mouth. This kind of thing. Whereas if you're a tongue blocker, you isolate that single hole by having the harmonica much deeper in your mouth with a much wider mouth position and blocking the holes to the left or the right depending on which part of the harmonica you're using uh, with your tongue. So if, for example, I was playing the four blow, I would have my tongue blocking holes one, two, and three or two and three depending on how wide uh, the mouth is. So that's what tongue blocking is. I guess the next question is, why would you actually want to learn tongue blocking? So I don't teach tongue blocking to beginners. Um, it's not even something that, that I use very much. I actually only started really learning it seriously uh, about 18 months ago when I was uh, hanging out with David Barrett at the Edinburgh Harmonica Workshop in 2017. Um, and the reason that I decided to learn it is because I wanted some of the textures that you can get from tongue blocking. Uh, but I still love the textures that I get from lip pursing. So I'm not a tongue blocking player exclusively. I still play a lot more lip pursing, but I like some of the additional things I can, I can, I can add with it. Uh, so some examples, you get an idea of it. You get things like this. So that. That's called a slap, and that's a really cool tongue blocking technique. Uh, the other thing that I, I find quite useful with it is it tends to make your harmonica sound a little bit thicker, especially in the kind of middle range and, and upper range when you're playing amplified. Uh, so I, I quite often tongue block some of the higher notes to make them sound a little bit thicker. And I guess that's because you're you're blocking the airflow at the front of the harmonica as well, so you can get a better seal around the microphone. So there, there are some reasons to learn it. Um, I definitely don't think that it's the be all end all, but if you do want to learn it, let's, uh, let's get started with it. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to start by tongue blocking hole number four, and we're gonna play a four blow. So what you need to, to do is have your mouth much wider than you would for the normal lip pursing position. So if you uh, start by lip pursing the two draw, and then let the harmonica fall into your mouth a little bit deeper by relaxing your lips. And there, you're going to start blowing. And then put your tongue over to the left hand side of your mouth so that you're blocking the holes below the forehole. So my tongue is kind of in this position. So I'm, I'm blocking with the top of my tongue, so it's kind of curled over like this, and I'm not blocking with the tip of my tongue. I'm top, blocking with the top of it. Okay, that's what I'm doing. Probably looks a bit weird without a harmonica in my mouth. So just practice getting into that position. And you can always start again from the clean two draw with the lip pursed position. So clean note, drop the harmonica in to make a chord, blow, then push your tongue over to the left hand side of your mouth and block at the four blow. Okay, practice getting into that position, and then if you're feeling brave, uh, we can try moving around with it. 
Okay, so now that we've had a little look at how to play the four blow, uh, let's practice moving around with it. So for starters, we're going to play the four blow and then the four draw. So let's try that. Okay, so make sure when you play that draw note that you don't suck in too hard because what that tends to do is it tends to pull your cheek in and your lip in and, and you end up getting quite a tight sound and maybe even closing off too much of that hole. So you get kind of that kind of thing. You're almost bending the note. It's not particularly pleasant. So you've got to be nice and relaxed and not kind of sucking the air in. So let's try four blow, four draw. So now we're going to move up to the five draw. So we do four blow, four draw, five draw. So we're moving around the harmonica in exactly the same way that you would if you were lip pursing, you're moving it with, with your hands so you can keep good control of it. And then we're gonna add in the six blow. So four blow, four draw, five draw, six blow. And then backwards. So really make sure that you're getting a clean single note. That's the most important thing. And it's gonna be quite difficult at first when you're learning to tongue block as a lip person. So that's your first priority. Get the clean note on the four blow and then maintain the clean note while you're moving around. You might find that your tongue starts to drag with the harmonica and you lose that good single note. Uh, so really, really practice that and hone it. And then the next step is adding it to the minor pentatonic scale. So what I tend to do, uh, and this is actually what, what David Barrett suggested that I do, um, is I lip purse holes one, two, and three, and then I switch to tongue blocking from hole four uh, upwards. So to practice that you can play the minor pentatonic scale in second position and instead of lip pursing it all the way you can play the first two notes lip pursed and then switch to the tongue block position. So you'll see that the, the harmonica falls deeper in my mouth when I switch at that four blow. Okay, I'm kind of playing out of the side of my mouth, and then I keep going. So that's two draw, three draw half step bend, four blow, four draw, five draw, six blow. Let's try that together. One, two, three, four. Then backwards. Okay, excellent. So, practice that until it feels second nature. And then once that is comfortable, you can start working on adding in some other techniques. And I'll, I'll just do you a little bit of a, a demo of, of where we can take this. So, one, two, three. Okay, cool. So, a little bit of tongue slapping there for you to, to listen to and uh, hopefully make you understand why it might be quite fun to, to add some tongue blocking into your repertoire. Uh, what you can do now is you can click below to download the tab uh, and audio clips from today's lesson. And before you do that, please don't forget to like the video. Give me a little thumbs up down below it. And uh, also subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already because I put out new harmonica content every week and I wouldn't you want you to miss out on next week's. Alright, see you very soon. Happy harping.